Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have my next diamond painting unboxing video for you guys. Look at this beaut. Also, this is like the best angle we're gonna get right now, but this is Springtime Splendor by Randall Spangler and Diamond Art Club. It is a square drill kit. It is a 22 by 37 inch. It's a master masterpiece. I mean, masterpiece is a word I wanted to use, but not the word I wanted to use. Um, it's a beaut. It is huge. It is very fun. So a 22 by 37 inch or a 55.8 by 93.9 centimeter painting and you guys this thing is gonna be so fun I'm very excited if you guys have not watched my last video obviously you guys are not going to be surprised um but if you haven't seen my last video I actually randomly picked this diamond painting um if you're interested in seeing the process of how I picked I think it's kind of cool and I would love to see other people do that as well um I just think it's so fun like I'm sure a lot of us have a big stash and it's like what piece do I want to do next? I don't know, we'll just let fate decide. And this is what the fates, the fates, the fate gods have chosen for us, whatever you want to say. So basically today we are going to be unboxing this kit and I have been pretty anxious to unbox this kit because I think it's like pretty hard to tell. Actually, you can kind of see it looks like this box has been beat up a little bit, which I'm a little bit nervous to unbox. I'm just hoping the canvas itself is okay, but um, we're gonna find out together. This is either gonna go really, really well or really, really bad, but we're gonna about to find out together. But anyways, this intro has been super long, so let's just get right on into the unboxing. Okay, so I already took off the factory seal, so what I'm gonna do, and every time I film, you guys, I don't know the proper way to actually film unboxings. My space is just not that big, and this painting's the biggest one I've done yet. Um, I had trouble unboxing Luna Moth Witch, so I just imagine I'm gonna have some trouble with this, but please bear with me. I apologize in advance, but anyways, oh my god. We're gonna go ahead and take out this beast of a canvas. Okay, I guess the whole canvas did fit in the box, and that's actually it for the box. So I'm gonna put the box to the side, and I just like threw it, but then it bounced back at me. Okay, so we have the canvas right here, and you guys, this canvas is like heavy, and I think all of the drills are on this side of the canvas, because when I lifted it, it was kind of top heavy. But anyways, um, all Diamond Art Club kits come with this little tiny sticker here. And this goes in um, either the side of your box if you want to um, open your kits before you work on them and put them back to store them. This is a good way to figure out what kit you have. Um, or you can put it in your diamond logbook, which is what I do. So it's just a little sticker of the art. There is a bigger sticker in here as well, but we next have the toolkit, which is one of my favorite things. So let's get into the toolkit. Um, the only reason, and the thing is, I actually really don't use much from the toolkit anymore, and but I still like seeing what washi tape and cover minder we're gonna get, so I'm always very excited about that piece of it. But anyways, let's get right into, okay. Wait, no, washi. No, not the washi. Um, the bag of baggies. Haha. -ha. Okay. I think. Okay, I think that's it. Also, my like bag, if you guys can see. Also, I know I say bag funny. I'm from Wisconsin. Um, has a hole, probably from the tweezers. Um, but anyways, this is the basic toolkit that comes in every Diamond Art Club kit. So you get, first of all, a bag of baggies. And what I like to use these for is I have like a stockpile now of them. But what I use them for is any extra like drills that I want to keep. I don't keep all of my drills from all my kits, but I do like to keep the special diamonds. And I think I'm going to start keeping like the 310s and maybe like the really popular like colors just in case I need extra. But these are perfect for that. Um, you also get a little diamond painting pen and a matching, I'm gonna call it squishy, um, that just goes on the pen. It just goes on the pen, just like so. Although, ooh, that noise is terrifying. But anyways, you put it on the pen, it's um, usually matching. So it's a nice yellow color, stunning. Um, you get, let's see, let's do the multi-placers next. You get a four placer and a seven placer, which is awesome. I um, have used the four placer a lot before. The piece I'm working on now, I've actually just been single placing the entire piece, so I haven't needed to utilize the multi-placers in a while, but it is really nice that it comes with it. Um, and then you get a basic white tray with an actual tray stopper, which I find useless. So I'm tossing the tray stopper, but you can put the tray stopper um, at the bottom 
the bottom of your tray there we go I think it's on the right way um, and it's supposed to stop your drills from falling out of the tray which is nice I just I don't find it necessary I'm not usually too clumsy with it I say that but you know um and then you get a nice little um, thing of wax it's heart wax um, until you get two plates of pink wax and it's just in the shape of a heart and you can use this to load up your diamond painting pen. Hopefully you guys are seeing this okay. I, you know, you'd think a few unboxings in, I would be like a lot better at this and I'm not so great, but that's okay. And then in every square toolkit from Diamond Art Club, you get a pair of tweezers. And I really like the Diamond Art Club tweezers. However, they are insanely pointy. You guys can't even, can't even see that. I wonder if it's gonna focus. Focus on the murder tweezers focus on the murder tweezers. Okay, I'm probably gonna get demonetized for calling them murder tweezers, but they are very sharp and they won't focus. So they're too sharp to focus. <laughs> but you get a pair of tweezers. And then the two fun parts of the box is you get some washi tape. Um, so the print will vary on the washi tape and the cover minder um, depending on the kit. Um, okay, it's like focusing a little bit there we go um so this is a really pretty pattern and then you get a, wa uh, a washi a cover minder which i don't use personally but i love sticking this on my art cart um basically this is a magnet that you can use to hold the plastic back of your diamond painting so it has a magnet on you know each side and you put this underneath the plastic you put the bigger piece on top and you just magnetize it together and this is a cute little flower she's so cute i don't have one of these um obviously i haven't unboxed that many diamond art club kits and i'm waiting to like unbox them um to like look at the actual like toolkits so i might have duplicates somewhere but as of right now i don't have any duplicates but Anyways, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and put away the toolkit and then we will get right into the canvas. Okay, so we are gonna get into the canvas and actually I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up just a little bit and hope for the best. Um, but we have the canvas and each canvas comes in a like dust cover, I'm gonna call it. Um, and it says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And let's go ahead and just get into this. I'm so excited to look at this canvas with you guys. Um, so let's... Let's dig right in, shall we? I was a little bit nervous, and I said this earlier, because my box was kind of crumpled. I was nervous that like the canvas itself might not be 100% intact, but from the looks of it, it is looking, it's looking intact, which is awesome. But okay, oh my God, you guys. Okay, I gotta flip it, I think, this way to get it fully, um, fully out. But okay, oh my word, oh my word, you guys. First of all, this bag of drills is freaking massive um but you have the bag of drills and each um god i can't even imagine i have bigger canvases than this from diamond art club i can only imagine how much bigger this like it gets um but each bag of drills has um the name of the canvas actually printed kind of as a sticker on the bag of drills so in case you store them separately from the canvas you can match them back up but we're actually gonna put this to the side for now um, and then you also get a little um, thank you note from Diamond Art Club for purchasing. And actually, while we're here, I should mention that if you are new to Diamond Art Club and this is the first unboxing you're ever seeing or you're just finally wanting to bite the bullet on buying a piece, I think Springtime Splendor is currently sold out. Um, I'm probably uploading this in a few days, so like it could change between now and then. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure it's out of stock. But I do have a, um, a link down below to... Um, my like, if you use the link, I make a small commission. Um, and if you use my discount code, I get a small commission. It might just be the discount code. I'm really not too sure. Um, but my discount code, I believe is Michaela 10. And I believe my dreamer designs is Michaela Renee 10, but everything is linked down below um, for your convenience. So um, feel free to use that because don't pay full price for a diamond art club painting. Um, they definitely want you to use discounts and don't pay full price. So anyways, you have the thank you note. Um, and then we have the big sticker sheet. And over here, we just have the actual like original artwork in sticker form. Another thing I like putting in my log book. And then we have stickers here. And these are actually pre-cut stickers. Um, so that way you can go ahead and like hit up. So for example, um, with my Luna Moth painting, um, you can like put the sticker if you guys can see right on the container so makes it very convenient and I love kidding up that way and I'm really grateful that companies do this not all companies do but the more premium you get like the more they're gonna 
make helpful things for you. Um, but in this kit, we have 60 colors and let's see, anything under the number 150 in Diamond Art Club's like coding system is an AB. So it looks like we have four ABs. So I'm excited to look at those with you guys. But let's see, I'm going to put this over here and what we're actually going to do. And I think I'm going to, first of all, flip the canvas over the other way. Oh my goodness. This thing is a beast because what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I know you guys are not able to see this, but I'm going to go ahead and roll this um this canvas backwards and you guys will see it in a sec i'm gonna roll this canvas backwards to help it lay flat a little bit quicker if you guys can see this does not hurt the glue this does not hurt the canvas um because this is poured glue um adhesive it will not hurt the canvas but anyways okay wow this canvas is just huge i think at some point actually you know what right here right here editing michaela listen up uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just stick a like overview of the canvas um i'll grab a clip after i am done um filming this part but i'm gonna show you guys as i'm doing right now a full on view of this canvas oh my god you guys it is literally stunning i was hesitant a little bit when i picked it just because of how big and intimidating this canvas is but you guys oh it is so gorgeous so pretty but what i'm gonna actually do is go ahead and flip it back around um because what i want to do quick is go over the drills with you guys um, and then we will go ahead and look closer at the canvas and see where all of the a b drills are but let me go ahead and grab out the drills for you guys and we can go over the colors you guys i definitely said this before but holy drills like i said this is the biggest canvas i have worked on um ever but then also from diamond art club um the current one actually probably being luna moth is luna moth much bigger than um the vegas one i'm questioning it now because i actually don't know but um Anyways, let's just go ahead and go through all of the drill colors. And all right, um, every time I do this, I have to like really think about what I'm doing. It's always a mess. But anyways, okay. So first we have 319, 898, 3818. Hopefully this focuses. Uh, 301, two bags of 938. It's also like really not focusing. This sucks. <laughs> two bags of 37.55. We have two bags of 336. Okay, and then we have our first AB drill. And like I said, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And basically, they just have a really pretty coating over the top of the drills to make them sparkle and stand out. So we just have this like military army green color. It's gorgeous. Um, and then we have 792, and we have two bags of 792, and then we have two bags of 158, 976, two bags of 702, one looking less full than the other, and then 550. And then moving on into the next strand of drills, we have two bags of 161. Looks like we have a lot of doubles. Um, we have 3750, 333, 733, two bags of 160, but they're both not super filled, so a little bit smaller, I think. We have 3325, 413, 317, 798, yeah, 798, uh, 38, 37. <laughs> Uh, 640, oh my gosh, I feel like this is the most chaotic unboxing, 937, 3790, 414, 3350, 833, 642, and 930, and then we have, is this only one more or two more? Okay, we have two more, two more things of drills, you guys. We have 977. And then we get into our 310s, but we only have three bags of 310, which compared to my seven bags from Luna Moth Witch, this is good. Um, we have two bags of 794. We have two bags of 700. We have 809, 300, 318, 3782, and two bags of 699. 
And then I would assume that um, all of the rest of the ABs must be in this last smaller strand. Um, okay, so we have 3731, 644, 815, 420, 3733, 433, 208, 3855. And then we have 119, which is this really pretty purple AB. 935, did I already say 935? No, maybe I didn't, okay, weird. Uh, 832, 3821, 3841, 3033, 115, and there's not a lot of these, but it's just a pretty red AB. 141, which there are also not too many of this color either, but it's the pretty typical, I'd say, you find in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits, white AB. And then 3820, 38, 38, what am I saying? 3778, 356, and 758. So that is the spread of colors, you guys. This canvas is so colorful and I'm very excited. A lot of greens, a lot of blues, but also a lot of in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these drills um, elsewhere and then we are gonna just go through the canvas and I'm gonna show you guys or do my best to show you guys where all of the AB drills go. Okay, so we're back again and I think it might just be easier. I'm just gonna see quick. I feel like this should be editing thing, but um, I think this might be easier just to keep sideways. I don't know because it's just so big and it's like tall. I hope you guys don't mind. I don't really know if that's actually the smartest way to do it. So I guess we'll put it back. We'll put it back this way and hope for the best. But um, okay, we'll start at the bottom here. And okay, so the first AB is the green, which is 108. And just skimming through the bottom half of this canvas first. Um, let's see, it's the number one on the canvas. Um, it is just laced throughout the grass over here. Um, this is just gonna be so hard to show you guys because I'm not gonna like zoom in, you know, but a lot of it laced in the plants. Um, let's see, where else are there ones? I would assume <laughs> there's probably some more ones in the trees up here. Um, I would assume, let's see. Yeah, more ones over here in the trees. Basically, anywhere there's like this light, like green color that looks like it should be in the trees. There's a little bit elsewhere, a little bit over here. Um, a little bit laced into the roof, actually, of the building. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that is where all of the ones are. Very pretty. And then we have the number two, which I actually don't think is at the top here at all. It's the red AB. I'm pretty sure I saw all of the number twos at the, um, at the bottom of the canvas. So... Let's uh, take a trip back <laughs> and a lot of the twos actually are, there's a couple over here um, in like these flowers, I think they're flowers, in like the garden, if you will. Um, and yeah, more twos over here in like the garden. Um, and then we have some twos in like the people. So that's kind of where all the twos lay. I don't really think there were any at the top of the painting. So. Just a lot of twos to like accentuate like flowers, I think. I'm just looking at the original artwork. Yeah, I would assume that's what they were doing. Okay, awesome. That is where all the twos are. And then we have the number three, which is the purple AB. And the threes look to be um, in also the flowers. Okay, so anywhere you guys see like purple in the like flower areas over here, that is a purple AB and it's actually kind of intermixed with another purple and I'm looking at the canvas and it's a little, a little hard to be honest to differentiate the threes and the eights. I think it'll be fine when I'm working on it, but I'm just trying to look at it closely and it's a little hard to see the difference. But anyways, you have some threes there and then you also have some threes. This canvas is not gonna play nice. Um, you also have some threes over here in like the, what is this, a window? I feel like it has to be a window. The window right here. Um, oh my gosh, you have a bunch of threes over here. Dang, I thought three was, um, or like the purple was like a smaller bag of babies. Hmm. Hopefully I have enough. Um, but yeah, I mean the three is just kind of laced, like kind of everywhere you see the purple is where the purple AB goes. And also in this angel's wings over here, over yonder. <laughs> so a lot of purple, 
a lot of purple actually. And then number four is the white AB. I'll just start at the top because we're not we're not playing that game. But the fours um, looks like a lot of them are laced in the sky, um, just kind of as little like light accents. Um, it's really hard to see to be honest. But um, a lot of fours just laced in the sky. Um, let's see, is there any in this midsection? Yeah, there's a few over here, a few fours, a few fours in the window. Um, I would assume just the highlight, um, some more fours over here. But I would say the fours in this piece are pretty few and far between and used to like accent and like highlight, if you know what I mean. Um, and then Oh, of course there are some fours in the old man's beard and hair. You know, I don't know what it would be without having his oldness accentuated. Um, but it is in the old man a little bit. Um, otherwise, I don't actually see any other fours around this part of the painting. Oh, I guess there's some more in the windows. Yeah, I mean, the fours are pretty interspersed throughout. But this piece, you guys, oh my god, I'm just gonna... We're just going to look at it for a minute. This is just so gorgeous and I'm really excited to work on it and I'm even more glad that the canvas itself was okay. Um, you know, things happen to the box for sure, but I was just like, I don't know if like the canvas itself is ruined, but no, it's called Michaela being dramatic, which is like a daily occurrence. So nothing, nothing new over here. But anyways, like I said, if this is a canvas you're interested in, I will leave it linked down below. Um, I'm not again, 100% certain. I don't think it's actually, I can just check my phone while we're here. Um, let's just see if this canvas is in stock. I don't think it is. Um, springtime splendor. It is. Oh, you know what you guys, this kit is currently in stock. Okay, that's exciting. So I think I'll have this video up for you guys either Thursday or Friday, um, earlier if I can, but I'm not planning on editing this tonight, but um, definitely sometime this week. So if this is a kit you plan on or want to pick up, check my description box because it's in stock as the time I'm filming. Um, oh, that's crazy. I didn't think it was in stock, but, and like I said, I have a discount code if it's your first time ordering. I really do appreciate if you want to use it, but you definitely do not have to. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Um, I hope it wasn't all over the place, but I really enjoy filming the unboxings. I know they're chaotic, but honestly, they're very fun, and it's so cool to unbox this with you guys, and I love seeing everyone's comments and first impressions as well, um, and I'm excited to kind of go along the journey of doing this canvas with you guys. Um, hopefully here soon, I will have a post review of Luna Moth Witch. I still have about a row and a half left to do, so I anticipate that being a couple weeks away, but I did want to open this canvas for you guys, get it filmed, um, and then let this sit out and flatten as much as possible before I start on it. So anyways, all that rambling to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. I like to think I am a fun time over here. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys!